Hi, folks. Welcome to Rewatch. We are on Dave Filoni's Clone Wars, Season 1, Episode 9. This is called Bombard the Jedi. I remember this immediately when I saw the title. I was like, oh, no, here we go. It's a Jar Jar Binks episode, right? Uh, Padme goes to Rodia. She's trying to make amends with them. Rodians are upset because they've been attacked by pirates and the Republic has done nothing to help them. And so they're starving. They need goods and whatnot. And so she's kind of smoothing things over with her uncle Ono, adopted uncle, obviously. But uh, that Rodian was good friends with uh, Bail Organa. But what does that? What does Ono do? He 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 captures Padme and turns her into Newt Gunry. So much for old friends. But he's mad because the Republic hasn't done anything. Well, how is that a senator's fault? Honestly, you didn't fight hard enough for us. She's not even your representation. So the whole betrayal thing doesn't make sense at all. And for a minute, she acts like he was in on it and it was a trap against Newt Gunray. But then I realized, wait, that can't be the fact. And then, of course, they do say it wasn't the fact. You know, she's just trying to help her uncle save face. But and, and by the way, when Gunray comes to you know, capture and kill Padme, he's like, oh, um, can we not kill her? What did you think was going to happen? What did you what did that Rodian think was going to happen? They're just going to hold her up, ha, invite her over for tea. What is what? Don't hurt her. You're the one that ca you had her captured. I mean, it's kind of like, you know, it's like Lando on Cloud City. This deal is getting worse and worse all the time because he's not getting the goods that Newt Gunray promised him. And if I was Newt Gunray, I'd, I would come with all the goods to make sure that that guy is happy for giving me my arch nemesis to kill. So, I mean, but Newt Gunray's a, a slime ball, so he's not going to, he's always going to lie to the Rodian, but that's stupid too. Anyway, um, so, uh, of course, Jar Jar Binks puts on a robe. He gets stuck in a robe. He gets mistaken as a Jedi. And, of course, through one convenient, convenient, lucky accident after the next, he defeats most of the clones by he goes underwater. He meets this, like, space slug that he becomes friends with. And the space slug just kind of wipes out every all the droids. And I didn't mind it. I know I made fun of it last time I, I watched it. I was like, oh, Jar Jar Binks. But at this point, I'm like, yeah, let's watch a Jar Jar episode. And to be honest, it's not really that bad. I mean, Jar Jar is doing everything by accent. He's not a Jedi. Even the Rodian thinks he's either you're the best Jedi I've ever seen or the most foolish one. He went, I need I gunkin. Okay, but you know what? I don't mind Jar Jar. And in fact, I don't mind Bombad Jedi. In fact, I thought, ah, you know what? He's bumbling around during episode one, during the battle and defeating things. He's doing the same thing here, except in a robe. I really don't mind it. It's not a bad episode. You're like, well, Matt, Matt likes Jar Jar Binks. I, not necessarily, but I did. I, it's not as dumb as the, I, if you just read the uh, the idea for this uh, this episode, you'd be like, oh no, no, no. And when I when I when I when I when it came on, I was like, oh, I remember what episode this was. Rolled my eyes, but I actually enjoyed it. My little boy sat with me for this one too, and we were watching it together, and he was smiling, I was smiling, and I mean, that's what's made for us for kids. So. Honestly enough, Bombad the Jedi, and that's what they call him, Bombad Jedi. You know, that's what the Rodians call him, because they Master Bombad, you know, in there, because they don't know his name. But either way, it's fun. It's a fun episode. But you know what? What did you think about the episode? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll talk to you next time.